Good evening. Just hours after it began, our trans-Tasman travel bubble has seen its first challenge. A border worker has tested positive to COVID-19 in Auckland, despite being fully vaccinated. Qantas and Air New Zealand side by side on the tarmac at Auckland Airport. They've been isolated from other international flights and for good reason. An airport worker has just tested positive for COVID. No. Seriously. Seriously? This was a, a border worker um, who did work in an environment where they were coming into contact with the planes that are used to transport people from red zones. They're onto this. We have full confidence in New Zealand's system. The first positive, the first challenge for a border bubble just hours old. And this was someone who was vaccinated and fully vaccinated quite early on in the campaign. That means less chance of the virus spreading. We know that we have a highly infectious disease but highly developed containment systems in uh, both New Zealand and Australia. And the international threat is rising on both sides of the Tasman. In the last 24 hours, there were 24 new cases detected in hotel quarantine around Australia. Just in Sydney in the last week, 39 people have brought COVID back with them. We need to remember that every day, thousands of people are coming, uh, or either in our hotel quarantine system or coming back from overseas, all Australian. It's understood the worker here at Auckland Airport was a cleaner who was working on a plane that had arrived from a country with a lot of infections. It's also understood that cleaner did not come into contact with members of the public. We accept that's going to be part of our journey together. I think Australia accepts that. Uh, and for both sides, we're always looking for clear connection to the border, in this case there is. While there's anxiety at airports tonight, the trans-Tasman bubble remains unburst. Its success in part resting on these planes keeping a safe distance from other aircraft.